The former Mrs. Wallace Simpson, who was to be buried alongside her husband, the former King of England, remained the ultimate outsider until the very end, ever since the two met and fell in love in the 1930s. But despite their feelings for one another, Simpson, an American, was twice divorced, unacceptable for the king, according to the Church of England. In 1936, in what was called the love story of the century, Edward chose to abdicate the throne to marry the woman he loved. I have found it impossible to carry the heavy burden of responsibility and to discharge my duties as king as I would wish to do without the help and support of the woman I love. The couple, who'd settle in France as the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, would travel around the world, attend charity functions, and entertain friends, even meeting with Hitler in 1937. In 1940, Edward was made governor of the Bahamas. The Duchess, always impeccably dressed, was known, amongst other things, for her sense of style and her extravagant jewelry collection, bought for her over the years by her husband, the Duke. When she died in 1986, 14 years after he did, the Duchess's jewelry collection was auctioned off at Sotheby's in Geneva. Some of the pieces sold included a Cartier cross charm bracelet that marked important days in their lives. The Duchess wore it on their wedding day. A 1940 Cartier flamingo brooch, a birthday gift from the Duke that was said to be a favorite of the Duchess's and one she often wore. But the most recognizable piece of the collection the Duchess's Cartier Diamond and Onyx Panther bracelet was sold for more than one and a half million dollars. When it went on sale again in 2010, the winning bid was for more than seven million. In 1987, the Duchess of Windsor's jewelry collection had been valued at more than seven million dollars. By the time the auction was over, more than 50 million dollars had been brought in. Most of the proceeds went to a French charity, a research institute for AIDS and other diseases.